I had some I had some concerns uh, for Leinster going to that game. They they just blew away Leicester in that first you know twenty twenty five minutes. Yeah, and and Leinster had real concerns themselves. You know, it was it was an edgy, nervy camp last week, and you know, you're not really quite sure where the Premiership has been at over the course of the last twelve months, and you know. Uh, I'm not sure it's at the level mm. that we think it is at the moment. Well, and that's reflective been, in the national team as well. For sure. This has been the Leinster story the last couple of years. They, they have their URC form and they breeze through Europe and then they're not quite sure where they are. And so yesterday they certainly passed the test. To your eye, do they look like the best team in this competition now or certainly better equipped than previous years to go all the way? Uh, I, th I think yes to, to both questions. Um, they're certainly a better team than they were over the course of the last couple of years. And at this moment in time, the best team in the competition mm. now. What are, what are they better at in particular? I just think they're a lot more comfortable. You've got these younger guys now who have taken their game to a new level. Caelan Doris, you know, Josh Van Fleer is playing unbelievably well. Gibson Park has brought a new dimension to it. Mm. Uh, Hugo Keenan at the back. They're just, they're all playing really good rugby at the moment. They're all on top of their game. I thought we, we didn't see as much of it yesterday just because of the way the game planned out. But throughout the season, I think um, Leinster and a lot of those Leinster players are Irish players, so it's been mirrored, have been more, um, uh, less risk averse. They've been willing to, you know, ball may go on the deck, you know, they may pass, may not go to hand, but they're trying it. And, you know, during the season, uh, previously in previous years, they hadn't been trying that slightly riskier stuff. And if you don't do that slightly more, you know, sophisticated, riskier type of play, you won't beat the teams in the semi finals and quarter final uh, and, and, and final of Europe. I don't think they will. That's so. Because of that, I think they are better equipped to do it. I think they've identified that as an issue. They've played a riskier type of game. In, in the United Rugby Championship, that should serve them better in the you know the next and one one or two games. Exactly, and that's exactly what they've been trying to do because they learnt the lessons last year against La Rochelle. One out runners, you're just going to get absolutely smoked. So what they've tried to do now is continuously change the point of contact, and the best way to change the point of contact is through offloading and taking some of those little risks, which means that you're avoiding more of those big collisions. Um, and you don't really see that until you get against the bigger teams. Mm. But it seems as if they've learned their lessons from last year and they've put it into practice over the course and, of this and season. And that's quite a cultural change that Ireland and Leinster had to go through off yeah. the back of the Joe Schmidt era because previous to that it was all about elimination of the risk because Ireland had you know, took too many risks, had too much ball on the ground and you know, had too many turnovers and the, the opposition exploited it. So mm. that was removed from the Irish game but we almost went too far the other way. Had to come back and say, hang on a second, got players here who are good enough to take uh, a little bit of risk and the risk will be rewarded. Mm. More fun to watch as well. Certainly. Which uh, doesn't hurt.